Hey there, I'm Amy Connell. Welcome to Graced Health, the podcast for women who want simple and grace-filled ways to take care of themselves and enjoy a little chocolate in the process. I am a personal trainer who wants you to know your eating, movement, and body don't have to be perfect. You just need to be able to do what you're called to do. We are in a series called Ask the Trainer, where I answer questions you may have about your eating or movement or how they work together in about five minutes. Today's question is, is it possible to build muscle and lose fat simultaneously? For years, most experts and uh, you know scientific weight loss literature said no, that this could not do that because weight loss would inevitably lead to both fat and muscle loss. And some of the um, loss would come from your lean muscle tissue, which we don't want to do. We don't want to lose that when we've worked so hard of it. You know, and, and if you think about it, that makes sense because increasing your muscle need means that you need to have a positive energy balance. You need to be consuming more than you're taking in. So that way your body can make those muscle, make that muscle tissue. And then weight loss comes from a negative energy balance. So not taking in as many calories as you are expending. So that seems to that the theory of, oh, you can't build muscle and lose weight or lose fat at the same time. Weight is not an issue here. So forget that I said that. I would edit it out, but we're just going on with it (laughs) anyway. So in theory, it makes sense. However, more data has been published that really challenges this. And in fact, losing body fat and gaining muscle at the same time is possible with the right diet and training program. The most important thing that you are doing is that you have enough protein in your diet. That does not mean you need to have all protein in your diet because you still need your carbohydrates to perform your strength training in order to gain your muscles, uh, gain larger muscles. But the quantity and quality of protein in your diet does uh, come into play. So in general, the US RDA recommends that you have 0.8 grams of protein for every kilogram of body weight. And you get your kilograms because I'm uh, in the United States, so I measure my weight in pounds. I take my pounds, divide it by 2.2, that gives you your kilogram, and then you can multiply that times 0.8. I don't remember how many kilograms I weigh. I just did this math for uh, the girls I coach, but I'm about 145 pounds, which means that 0.8 grams of protein for me is about 53 grams of protein. Now that's the minimum. The reason I tell you this is they did some studies with varying amounts of what the RDA, the recommended daily allowance is, and they did some studies where people consumed 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram, and then three times your RDA, uh, because the 1.6 is twice. So then the three times your RDA was 2.4 grams of protein per kilogram. The subjects who ate double the amount of the RDA of protein, which is 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And so for me, at 145 pounds, if I remember correctly, I think that's about 105 grams, something like that. I'm doing math in my head. That's scary. I know. But anyway, those who ate 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight and exercised were able to lose fat while preserving that lean tissue. Now, what's interesting is those who um, ate three times the RDA, the 2.4 grams of protein, you would think, you might think, okay, well, you actually have more weight loss or you have muscle gains, but that is not actually what happened. The 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight really seemed to be the sweet spot. So if you are wanting to lose fat and 
build muscle at the same time. Yes, it is possible. Just make sure that you are having the right quantity and quality of protein in your diet. And if you don't know where to start, start at that 1.6 grams of protein and play around with that. See how your body responds to that. Obviously, this is science. This is done in a lab. These, um, So it's important to Take that as a starting point and adjust as necessary as your body needs it. If you are over 40 and would like to receive five of my favorite movements that I've been doing since I was 40, I would love for you, I would love to send those to you. Go over to gracedhealth.com slash five, the number five over 40, put in your email. I will send them right over to you. Alternatively, you can text the number five over 40 to the number 202-410-4202, and I can get them over to you that way. Either way works. I'll have all of that in the show notes. Okay, that is it for today. Go out there and have a great day. 